Hello everyone, today we are going to be playing Memory Pictionary. So we were tagged by Charlie and Smay, who are another sister duo on YouTube, so we'll link their channels down below. And it looked like such a fun challenge. Basically what we're going to do is we have a memory and we're going to draw it out and the other sister has to guess what the memory is. Are you going first? I have the pen, I suppose okay. I'm going first. <laughs> we're going to set a timer for 60 seconds. Uh, I forgot what memory I was going to do. Oh wait, no, no I got it. There's two of us. One is, we're both sad. A computer? Uh -huh. Happy person. A square thing. A wardrobe. Oh, I think I know it! <laughs> is this when mom took our Sims? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, when we were younger, we got the Sims Living Large expansion pack. Yeah. And mom confiscated it from us because she thought it was too, like, too racy. She told everyone that we were making drugs in our garage and the police came to our house and we set our house on fire and like all these scandalous things when really we were just making potions with the science lab set. But she confiscated it and put it in the cupboard above the kitchen. Good times. Wow. Thanks mom. That was a great one. <laughs> Let's go. I forgot to mention I'm blonde. Oh yeah. Very glamorous blonde. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. And there will be a vlog coming next week about me dyeing my hair, so stay tuned for that. Go! Brush up! Start! It's a line, it's a box. It's a wardrobe. It's a door. You can tell that you're like a better draw drawer than me. Why? Because you like put all this effort like, oh my goodness, And I'm just like, meh. <laughs> what is that a house? <laughs> is this a fairy thing? Do you want to draw the fairy? <laughs> so <basically, laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> so basically, being the lovely big sister I am, I decided to trick Ellen into thinking that there was a fairy leaving letters for her outside her door. So I used to write her letters pretending I was a fairy and she'd ask me if I was writing them. I'd be like, no, oh my gosh, there's a fairy, Ellen. I was suspicious and then eventually I was just fully convinced that fairies were real. And then when I found out, I was so mad at Tara. Okay, the next memory is something that relates to you. I was in, I was in, your, in my bedroom when it happened. But oh. <laughs> I don't know if you want me sharing this with everyone, but. Okay, there's a person crying. <laughs> I feel like I I feel like I already oh, know what it is. is. What is that? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was one of two things, but this is the eyelash curler. Yeah. <laughs> it was either going to be when I chopped my fringe off really short yeah. and <laughs> cried. Or, yeah, so I was curling my eyelashes <laughs> and somehow I managed to trip towards the mirror and I just ripped out all the eyelashes oh. on one eye. It's like the thing makeup horror stories are made of. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Pac-Man. <laughs> it doesn't even look like Pac-Man. I don't know how I said that. Oh, burgers! Burgers? Is it how we go to Wendy's every Sunday? Surprisingly <laughs> not. Oh! Our, our nickname is Big Mac. Big Mac and Mini Mac? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically in high school my friends decided to call Ellen Mini Mac and me Big Mac. Our last name's Mackenzie. Yeah. Um, so I got that on my Levis jersey and it confuses people because they're like, why are you big back? I'm going to finish colouring in my burger. <laughs> I just shrunk dramatically because I got off my legs. Just you, look so, you look so tall! I'm the mini back now. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, okay. There's a line. It's a house. It's a... It's a oh gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a big one and a little one, and one's on a on a cushion. Someone's happy next to these people. Are so in proportion. Sad. Okay, okay, it's raining. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, get get the waves in there. I think that's my best drawing yet. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so this is a memory from camping. And Tara and I got in an argument about where we wanted to pitch our tents because I wanted to pitch my tent here and she went and just pitched her tent there. And I was very upset about it. And then that night there was this massive storm and the whole campground was completely flooded. And Tara's tent was just like in a lake pretty much. And she had to, was like screaming in the middle of the night. And I had to sleep in the car, it was so bad. And then we woke up in the morning 
everywhere flooded except me on this little hill. So and basically just, karma. Yeah, basically, because <laughs> I'd only pitched there because Tara made me. And I was so upset about it and then I was like, yeah. I feel like in all of these memories I'm coming across badly. It's because you're a bad sister. Okay, here we go. It's us. Mom, it's three people. I didn't know we had a third sister, Tara. Singing. Is this the pole man? <laughs> I love how I can guess that before you even drew the pole. <laughs> the pole man. Wait, wait for the best part though. This is me crying in the corner. <laughs> I'd like to point out these things here are ski poles. <laughs> Our family friends and we started a band called, which we called the Pole Band um, and we sang into ski poles and played guitar on the ski poles, played drums on the ski poles. But Alan and Kelly were really upset because we wouldn't let them join. We weren't allowed in the Pole Band. Yeah. But years later she's always like, you didn't let me in the Pole Band. It was a really tough time for me, okay? I'm sorry I didn't let you in the Pole Band. Ready, next one, go. Person. Mm -hmm. And I can't be bothered a buff man. He has hair. It's not bald. Um, there's another person. What is this memory? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's Ken without a man. Yes. Tara had a Ken doll growing up, which she gave to me, and it never had a head because Tara pulled the head off. I don't remember what happened to the head. I no don't know. No one knows. But I spent my entire childhood with a Ken without a head. head. And then one Christmas, my parents got me a new Ken doll and I went apparently like screaming around the house like, it's a Ken with a head, it's a Ken with a head. And he was known as Ken with a head. But just for her whole childhood, she played with like, Barbie in this headless Ken. Ken. Well, I think that was a good one to end on. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below if you thought it was funny or if you think we're really lame. And you're just unsubscribed from watching. Please don't subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye!